So what made you get into wrestling? What, what, what did you do one day you just woke up and said, you know what, I want to do this as a career? What kind of got you on that path? Well, when I was a little boy, I, uh, I actually uh, watched wrestling with my father, who was a big wrestling fan in, in the uh, Minnesota area. Uh, it just was uh, something that I really enjoyed watching and uh, enjoyed doing with my father and my, my mother and my sisters. We would always, uh, on Saturday nights, uh, go to the, uh, the grocery store and we could pick out a TV dinner or a pot pie, whatever we wanted. And we would all sit around the living room and watch uh, the wrestling uh, on Saturday nights. And if uh, there was a wrestling match that night uh, and my father wanted to go, he'd just uh, look at us all and say, get your coats, we're, we're heading down to the uh, auditorium. <laughs> so it was just uh, something that I... I kind of grew up with all my life, and uh, one day I uh, happened to be uh, with my friend who was a uh, sports writer. He was going to do a story on a pro wrestling training camp, so I went with him to go watch it, and uh, it was in an old barn out in the middle of nowhere. You walk in, and there was these guys in this old boxing ring and a bunch of bales of hay and uh, all types of animals and, and a little uh, light bulb above the ring, and they were kind of throwing each other around, and somebody uh, yelled down, uh, I need a volunteer to get in the ring so we can show all these uh, reporters here that this is uh, you know, the real deal. And, of course, I was the only one there without a pad and paper and <laughs> pencil and uh, camera. And uh, when, I, when I heard volunteer, I knew what that meant because uh, in the Marine Corps, when they said they need a volunteer, you were in trouble. So I, uh, I got in the ring, and they uh, put some holes on me and maybe uh, – Yell Uncle Sam a few times. Oh, no. And, uh, so I just uh, decided I was going to get out of the ring, and uh, the trainer said, where are you going? And I said, well, I don't see any reason staying here. Uh, you're kind of taking advantage of me. And he said, what do you mean taking advantage? I said, well, I'm letting you put these holes on me. And he said, oh, you're letting us, huh? <laughs> he said, you think you can do any better? So I said, yeah, I think I could probably do pretty well. So uh, a bunch of the wrestlers that were training were Guys that I wrestled in high school that I beat all the time. So uh, I was hoping uh, he was going to yell out the right name. And uh, so he told me to get down on all fours in the wrestling position and said, uh, okay, Rick, you get on him. And I heard Rick go, uh, oh, I got a bad shoulder, coach. said, uh, <laughs> you get on him. Uh, Rick was uh, Rick Flair, who is Rick Flair of today. Oh, wow. And uh, so we, uh, we, we played Little League against each other and, and – Pop Warner football and and uh, all kinds of things, high school. And so I, I knew I was in a, in a good position. So when they said wrestle, of course, I pinned Rick, and that didn't go over so well with the uh, with the uh, coaches. So they put Campatera up against me, who was a uh, silver medalist in the uh, weightlifting for the Olympics. And I escaped from him, even put up more red face on the coaches. So <laughs> finally... Uh, Bert Gagne said, well, you get down and we'll have uh, our pro here, Billy Robinson, who was the British Empire champion. We'll see how you can do against him. And, of course, uh, Billy didn't give me much of a chance. He dropped his uh, shin up against the back of my ankle, trying to break my leg for me. So oh, I came up, uh, spun around, and uh, as they say, in the mud, the blood, the beer, we went at it. And uh, they finally broke us apart took me outside the barn, and Vern Gagne came over and said, where'd you learn to fight like that, kid? I said, well, I was in high school wrestling, and he said, where'd you go? And I told him, and he said, hell, that's where I live, and what's your last name? And I told him, and he said, is your dad Rudy? And I said, yeah. He goes, he put the roof on my house. I said, uh, oh, I'll let him know that. So uh, he said, well, I can't put you in this uh, camp, but if you want to go through the camp next year, uh, I'll uh, have an opening for you. So I went home and told my dad about it. He said, well, I don't want you to be a roof for the rest of your life. So if you want to go do a tryout, go ahead. So uh, I did, and I've uh, been doing it ever since.